Right, so we've got our basin here, which has um, a cup of flour, half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes and a teaspoon of cumin already in it. We're just adding, as you can see now, the six cloves of chopped garlic and now a big heaped tablespoon of fresh thyme. And this will give a lovely fragrance uh, to the paratha. Um, we're just putting in a nice grind of salt there. Um, it's pink Himalayan salt. Uh, and we'll also add some black pepper to that as well. Uh, here's uh, our other seasoning. Just pop that in there now. Um, you can see in the background there, I've actually smothered the mashed butternut squash around the side um, of that uh, dish there so that it will cool down quicker. So now we're going to add um, some water. It's a full cup of water. We're going to add it half a cup at a time. So we'll put in half a cup first into the middle and then bring the outside dry ingredients into the middle and uh, whisk them up. Now once we've got that to a stiff consistency uh, we can then add the butternut squash into the mixture. If, um, if we wait until the end it might not combine properly or uh, it might cause it to be a bit lumpy. Uh, this way um, if we can get it combined um, with the rest of the mixture now uh, when we start adding the um, rest of the water it should combine very very easily. This will give the um, paratha a nice uh, flavour, but also um, you'll see it'll give it a lovely, a lovely colouring too. Um, almost the, the same sort of um, colouring that um, turmeric does. Hello, so welcome now to we're just going my to, cooking channel. Um, today we're going to the cook rest of that butter. butternut squash. Uh, for us, once we've got that, so the first a thing nice we'll consistency do is um, chop we up can this. Then um, pop it in the pan. A, it's around about half a so cup of uh, butternut squash. To that. Uh, we're going to cook it and then um, chill it and then add it to the rest of um, the flour. Right, now we're going to pop this in our hot frying pan. Just smooth it around from the middle and that'll encourage it to spread out a bit. And let it sit there and cook until it changes colour almost uh, on all parts of the um, paratha. As you can see, it's starting to change colour here now, so as soon as it does so, then you can flip it over and then we can have a look at um, doing the other side. Right, now we've um, got it over on the other side, we can put in a little knob of butter here um, and let that sizzle away and then throw the paratha in its path um, and that'll give it a nice moist consistency um, we just uh, don't soak it all up give it a flip and um, as you can see that, that beautiful color oh it's gorgeous and there you have it on a plate all ready to eat that will just be superb. I'm going to have it uh, later on um, this evening with some uh, chicken curry that I've got. Uh, and that'll, that'll come in just nice with a bit of chicken curry and some basmati rice. Beautiful. Okay, catch you on the next recipe.